the, then, then we must do the, ask the, the questions. Why did you come here? And do you know what is happening when the perfusion open? And uh, then I say, if you like to die, you are allowed to open the perfusion now. The patient will do like this. Mm -hmm. And after 30 seconds, he falls asleep. And then uh, two minutes and he dies. He doesn't feel the pain? No, nothing. Nothing at all. Korean lady, the young Korean lady who died with cancer, metastasis, and she had no chance. She was suffering so much. And her husband, when he was here standing, he was so... He was afraid that something would go wrong. And he was feeling sorry to lose his wife. And after she died, he was, now the suffering of my wife has finished. And this is what she wanted. And I'm s s happy with her that she was allowed to die like this and no more suffering. There is something in life which is 100% sure, mm -hmm. is that everybody has to die. Mm -hmm. With foreigners, uh, very often they have a very bad illness and only when the doctor says, oh, we can't do anything for you anymore, they start thinking, what am I going to do now? I'm going to die. And how do I want to die? And who says whether my illness is severe enough to die? Mm -hmm. It can only be me who says this. Each patient must be allowed to do his decision himself if he is of sound mind. 120 members who live in South Korea. Uh, in 2016, the first Korean person came to Dignitas for, a, for an assisted suicide. And since then, it was uh, five more people up until today. Last year, 2023, we had uh, three Koreans uh, com uh, coming for a physician-assisted suicide. The reasons is always the same, you know. It's, it's, it's some, some suffering. And there is in this kind no difference between a, a Korean person and a person from another country. So you can keep 